The Bay Area Council is calling for extra safety on BART trains from Governor Gavin Newsom. They, along with leaders of the AAPI community, sent a letter to the governor's office today. Crown Force Lindsay Ford live at the Arinda BART station tonight with more on that request and the response from the governor's office. Lindsay. Yeah, the Bay Area Council and more than 100 community members with the AAPI community are requesting CHP officers to patrol BART trains. Now, this is in response to the more than recent violent attacks that have mainly targeted Asian Americans. Earlier this month, an Asian American woman was stabbed on a BART train approaching 24th Street Mission Station in San Francisco. Back in July, an elderly Asian woman died after someone pushed her onto an oncoming BART train at Powell Street Station, also in the city. That's why Rufus Jeffries with the Bay Area Council says the AAPI community is pleading for extra security. These uh, crimes in some cases are uh, disproportionately affecting uh, you know, vulnerable communities, women, seniors, and others. So uh, it's, it's critical that, uh, you know, that th these systems, that this critical transportation system is, is safe. Polling by the Bay Area Council last year found riders were staying away from BART over concerns about crime and safety. The polls found that these attitudes were even more pronounced amongst the AAPI community, who make up 25% of BART ridership. Jeffrey says it's also a reality for people close to him. Uh, actually, two of our own employees who were robbed on BART. So uh, I, there's not many, there's people who that have used the system that probably couldn't tell you whether, you know, directly themselves or knew somebody or witnessed something uh, in, in recent years uh, that uh, involved, involved crime. Jeffrey says the Bay Area Council and the 100 AAPI members believe that presence of CHP officers would make the transit system safer. Getting more law enforcement of any kind uh, into the system, onto trains, into stations, and creating a visible presence on the trains uh, can act as a strong deterrent against crime and certainly being able to react more quickly when crime does occur. So it has both a, a preventative uh, and reactionary effect. In response to the request, Governor Gavin Newsom's office says that his office has already invested more than $550 million to support BART. He also said that BART safety is mainly controlled by BART police, and so it's up to them to work on that. In Orinda, Lindsay Ford, back to you.